Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I have actually modified these Philips MFB speakers uh, to differ from their original design. But I did it uh, in the same manner that a mother would steal to uh, feed her starving child. And what I've done is I've added that little hidden switch in there. What the thing does is disable the automatic shutdown timer in these speakers because they have the very nice feature of uh, turning off automatically when you've removed the input signal for about two minutes which was a very nice feature in the 1970s when you'd turn on your stereo and you'd listen to music and then you'd turn everything off and be on your way but uh, in today's society, when you use them for computers and movies and uh, voice over IP and uh, things of that nature, it just doesn't really work too well in practice at all. Uh, it would perhaps work if the timer was set to 10 or 20 minutes or even an hour, but uh, it's not easy to implement that in this circuit, and I'd rather not. Shut up. Touch the actual circuit. So, what I've done uh, is uh, connect a switch across uh, this is a transistor which engages the DC power on relay. I've just connected this switch straight across that transistor so that the relay which powers everything turns on and that's it, that's the only modification to, to the circuit which is of course entirely reversible but the big sin the big sin is that I drilled a hole there in the heatsink and you're not going to be able to revert that back to its entirely original shape now I did do a good job, it's a very clean and nice hole, but it's a hole which wasn't there in 1975. So that's a sin that's carried on my shoulders, and is going to have to follow me to the grave. But I find the cars to justify the means, because this will enable me to use these speakers as I use speakers which is for general purpose modern things because it's useless, entirely useless and frustrating to have a speaker which just turns off uh, after a while and then it requires a relatively loud sustained signal to turn back on uh, for instance if I go into the Windows volume uh, setting and do the little click on the volume control to do a ding thing it takes three or four dings for them to actually re-engage and having to do that in order to watch a YouTube video on low volume is just extremely annoying but this rem remedies that and I think it's not that bad anyway I had to come clean, get that off my chest if you're going to scorn me, scorn me but just know that I'm doing it for a good cause. Cheerio.